And in fact, many times when people are purchasing a home and they've placed an offer and there are conditions, many times, Sean, uh, the condition is based on, well, financing and a home inspection. So what exactly is the role of a home inspector? Well, a home inspector goes into a home and looks at the systems and, systems and components of a home to make sure that it's safe and that there's no surprises at the end of the day when someone wants to buy it. So it's not your job to make or break a deal. You don't make suggestions to people that are purchasing or not purchasing a home. You just want to give them knowledge. Yeah. What we want to do is make sure that they understand everything, that there's no surprises, and we're not there to persuade them to buy or not buy the home. We're there to make sure that they have a really good understanding of everything. Because sometimes if there's a problem, it could be an expensive thing and it may be a consideration. So we're, we're talking mechanical room right now. So what's the first thing that we have to look at? Okay, so here we've got, an, we've got a home about 45 years old and here we've got <clears throat> a flu connection from the furnace. And in this situation, it's, it's pretty close to combustible materials and that's the way they used to make them. So we don't want that. We wanna make sure that that's upgraded so that it's safe and secure for the homeowner. Okay, so home this buyer. home is about 44 years old. Let's make our way into the mechanical room. What might be some of the challenges um, with respect or considerations with respect to a mechanical room in a home this old? Well, we've got two things here. We've, we've, got, the, we've got the water heater and also we've got the, the furnace over here. But with the water heater, what I wanna look for is to make sure that <clears throat> it's secure. So first of all, you wanna make sure that there is a safety strap on here right and you want to make sure that it's not going to be leaking anytime soon so what that means is that there's no rust up here and that there's no rust here because if this were to flood it would cause uh, some serious damage down there and we don't want that to happen let's talk furnace furnace okay so what we do is we take a look at the filter down here and we want to make sure that the filter is actually clean. Uh, if, if it's not clean, then uh, essentially the furnace is suffocating. We don't want that to happen. So every three months, this should be changed. The other thing we want to do is want to take this off just to see the condition in here. We've got a little bit of soot in here, so that tells me that there's combustion byproducts in there. And this is pretty typical for a furnace that's about this age. So would you ever recommend that, okay, uh, you know, in a year, you'll probably have to replace this furnace? Oh, absolutely. This okay. one needs to go pretty soon. Yeah. So that'll be something that's of consideration. Again, it doesn't uh, for make or break a deal necessarily, but it is a consideration because it could be costly and you have to consider that if you're purchasing a home. Coming up in our next segment, we're going to be outside checking out what a home inspector is looking for and what should you look for in a home inspector? And if you are in the market for a home, you definitely want to make sure that you start to look for a home inspector. And Sean, I was surprised to say how early you said people should look for a home inspector. Not when they actually do the deal saying pending home inspecting. That's absolutely right. So what you want to do is as soon as you think that you want to buy a house, you want to talk to somebody, a good friend, a relative, look on the websites and you want to check for a home inspector at that time. You don't want to wait till the last minute because you might not find the home inspector you want. Okay, and there are certain qualifications you want to be looking for as well, right? Absolutely. You want to make sure that they're either licensed or registered. You want to make sure that they have the particular training to be a home inspector. They've gone through the process and it's it's all governed by license, uh, consumer protection license, consumer protection BC. So you want to make sure Excellent. Okay, so now we're outside. What do we need to look for with respect to a chimney? What are you looking for? Okay, so with a chimney, it, you know, in, in the West Coast here, it's really wet, and it's all about uh, diverting water away. So if you look at this crack, you want to make sure that, you know, it's properly sealed. And we see cracks here, we see cracks here, and this white stuff is efflorescence. And what happens here is moisture migrates in, and it can actually damage part of the chimney inside, so we don't want that happening. So again, it doesn't mean the deal is done, it just means the homeowner needs to know that there might be some maintenance involved, and you said this here actually could be a very expensive problem to fix, and you want to know that before you buy a house. Absolutely. What we have here is, it's called Big O, or Black Corrugated Drain Tile, and this is no longer used in modern plumbing, and it, it can become damaged because of the roots, because of settlement, that type of thing, and it could cause floods. Okay, and that's something a professional would have to fix, and again, you'd have to budget for. Let's make our way to the roof. What kinds of things are you looking for with respect to the roof? Well, with the roof, we want to make sure that it doesn't have a lot of debris on it, that it's in good shape overall, and that it's been properly maintained. Okay, and then something people need to consider is what, what you got here was potential mold, right? Or moss, well, I should say, not mold, moss. Actually, there's a lot of moss and debris buildup right on that valley there. And what can happen there is it can actually accelerate, it can actually ex accelerate uh, the the damaging process of the roof. So basically you want to make sure that's all clean and 
and all the debris is removed. And different checklists, there's different price ranges for home inspections. So for uh, a very, very detailed one, what kind of cost are people looking at typically should they budget for? Well, for, for the average house of about 2,500 square feet, you're, uh, you know, on the high end, you're looking at around six, seven hundred dollars mid range about 500 and on the low end about 400. How many people can you fit in a bathroom? Well, at least three. I don't know if we can fit many more, Sean. Depends how big the bathroom is. <laughs> exactly. And actually, speaking of which, when you do a home inspection, right. are people allowed to tag along and follow along? Absolutely. I like it because that way they have the information they need and they can actually learn a lot during the process. If we don't let them come, sometimes it can be confusing later when they get the report. But not every inspector lets you do that. So that's one thing you want to keep an eye out for. We're in the bathroom, one of the moistest areas of the house. Mm -hmm. Moisture bad? Moisture can be bad, but it has to be properly dealt with. I mean, we're going to have moisture no matter what. So the most important thing is to make sure it's properly vented from the bathroom. We have a window though. Is that not enough? Not anymore. Okay. No, they've changed everything. So basically what happens is if, for example, in, in the winter, you don't want to have your window open right after you get out of the shower. So we you have a to fan. Get it out. Yeah. So we got a fan. So that's yeah. good. Um, obviously, we have a few problems to point out here mm -hmm. in this particular bathroom, which again, these are not deal breakers for buying home, but it's important to know that there might be a cost in fixing these things. Yes. So what do we have here? Okay, so what we have here is we have discoloration here and what what happens is water can see and go underneath and, and create mold behind there. That's not a good thing. So we want to make sure that all the grout lines are properly sealed and everything is caulked. That's what the discoloration is. Okay, with respect to power, what's the problem here? Okay, on an older house like this, what we have is uh, an odor outlet. What you need is a properly protected outlet so that you don't have a possible electric shock. So when you point out are you giving estimates of this is what it'll cost to fix? Or are you really just providing the information that these are things you need to consider if you're gonna buy? We're not allowed to give costs okay. per se. Sometimes we can give ranges, but it's a dangerous subject. It's what we wanna do is just give the information and we don't fix things, we're not allowed. So there we go. Knowledge is power. That is the key. For more details on Sean and the home inspections he provides, Riaz, people can check out his website.